I'm Farouk Tahi. Family unites us, helps us heal, and makes life even more special. How amazing is that? So we're taking two people on the ultimate adventure to explore the stories hidden in their family tree. Yeah, baby, yeah! Along the way, they'll discover their past, great moments in history, and most importantly, each other. Get ready for the trip of a lifetime on Roots Less Travel. Michelle, hey. All right, we're going to talk about this journey you guys are going on. But, but what I need to know is, where's the connection between you two? My story is, I was uh, born in Los Angeles and put up for immediate adoption. For me, there was never a revelation of adoption. I was brought up knowing I was adopted. I think my big revelation was, oh, you mean everybody else isn't adopted? It's really a blessing to be able to connect with Rob. You found each other because of our sponsor, Ancestry. Yeah, he did his DNA test. Actually, it was his wife that messaged me on social media. And then this is actually our father and my mother. Wow, <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah. Louis, my birth father, it's uncanny how much we look alike. What do you know about your Mexican heritage? There's been stories that I've been told, like we had a relative that was a politician, Ernesto. Any other family history? We had a relative on the Titanic. Oh, wow. Okay. Yep, uh, Manuel. I actually have a picture. That and that was his wife? And that was his wife, yes. I think it's time to take a look at your family tree. Let's see if we can confirm any of these rumors you've heard. Let's do it. So we got you here, Michelle, right there okay. at the bottom, leading up to your father. Yes. And we got a grandfather there. Yeah. So we're going to go up here a little bit further. <laughs> and so we cool. keep going. We're now at there he Manuel. Is. I don't know. I see 1912. Oh, wow. wow. Register of deceased passengers on the Titanic. June of 1912. Wow. There it is. Manuel Crazy. Look at that, look at that right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, look at that. Yeah. Now, it's one thing to hear the stories passed down, but then when you can yeah. confirm it, how wow. amazing is that? Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Yes! Now, we're traveling abroad to learn about Rob and Michelle's relative, Ernesto Yurichertu, a former governor of Mexico City. Your cousin, Ernesto, was a huge part in creating the middle class. That is so amazing. I know you love the history, I know, I'm right? I like, yes. It's crazy to think about that. Take a look at this picture and tell me if you recognize anyone. <sighs> well, there's Kennedy right yeah. there, and there's Ernesto. <gasps> That's right there. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. I got wow. goosebumps, that is so yeah. cool. Michelle and Rob's second cousin, Ernesto, awarded President Kennedy the key to Mexico City. Growing up, we were told that our name is well known in Mexico just because of the political background. So you knew it, it was there, but to actually be here in person and see it and touch it and experience it firsthand in a way, like it's, it's amazing. John F. Kennedy. Wow. Okay, this is a room a lot of important decisions were made in, you know. <laughs> a direct blood relative gave JFK the key to the city. It's fascinating. Day two, let's do Day it. Day two. Uh, text from... Text from Farouk. Farouk. Right. All right, buenos dias. The journey continues. Want to join me? Come to this address. Earlier, the pair confirmed their relation to a passenger aboard the Titanic named Manuel Yurichertu. There was a friend who came to the home of Manuel's widow, and that story got printed in a newspaper article. I am from the United States, and I returned from England to New York on the hapless Titanic. I was saved, but I had a debt to pay. Close to the captain, dressed in a suit with tails, was a tall gentleman, relatively young, who had already put on his life jacket, ready to climb into the lifeboat that was swinging back and forth due to the furious waves below. There was only one spot left on the boat belonging to this gentleman, and faced with the possibility of being swallowed by the ocean, I begged that he save me, to which he replied, ladies first. I learned after the fact that my savior, that gentleman of heroic and noble heart, was a Mexican and that he had a family in Mexico that was well. The opportunity presented itself, and here I am, to eternally mourn the memory of your distinguished husband and savior of my poor existence. Wow. It's incredible. God it just adds more pride, you know? The guy, I'm actually choked up. They're a true hero, and very, very proud to be a descendant of such heroism. I'm very honored knowing that Manuel gave a spot on the lifeboat on the Titanic to a complete stranger. To be on this trip, it's gonna be a lifelong bond and these memories are priceless. 
I feel closer to Michelle right now. It's not only us getting to know about our family history, but also spending more time to get to know each other. <laughs>